Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I am going to use some of the new items that are releasing from Kelva Plan. Uh, she has some new planners, new sticker books, and some paper, some really good um, filler paper that are releasing today. Uh, so definitely check out her site. I'll have that linked down in the description if you want to see the other items that are available um, in this release. For now, I'm going to use the watercolor floral sheets because I really love these sheets. I love that she included like six designs of filler paper here, and I think these would be great to use for daily sheets. So I'm going to use this and watercolor florals because there's great function and florals and um, headers in here that you can use to make some really pretty daily sheets for yourself or even like just a special page, that kind of thing. Uh, but I, I kind of wanted to just go over these items just really quick so you know what's coming out. Again, I, do, I don't have everything that's releasing from this release. There is a dashboard planner uh, that is like a lined floral neutral type of theme. I do have the colorful florals, which is actually a vertical planner. So that's releasing today. I have this really cute seasonal planner right here. This one is releasing today as well. It's also a vertical. And uh, there's this seasonal sticker book, which is really, really cute. I love seasonal stickers. I have full flip throughs of these on my channel, so definitely check those out. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to use these items. I've been really liking the filler paper she's been coming out with recently. So I wanted to use these. I guess I'll just use, maybe I'll do like two sheets. So I have this design and then let's see, let's do, Let's do this one. We have like a top one and this one's kind of like the bottom, but you could actually like flip it. Actually, no, it flips on the same way. So yeah, we'll do a top one and a bottom one. And like I said, there are six different designs in here, a filler paper, and this is a dot grid page and it is front and back. All right, so I'm just gonna go through this book and find a color scheme that'll work. Actually, I think these are the florals that are on this page. So I guess we'll go with this theme since it's already coordinated for that. I really want to use, let's see, this fit here. Okay, we're going to make this work. Ooh, these are really pretty too. Okay. So I'm trying to think of like a daily sheet that I would need. So I really like to have like a bunch of different boxes uh, to section things off. So that's kind of what I'm going with for this uh, spread or this daily sheet here. I'm trying to use the dot grid lines too. This is why I like dot grid because I can use the lines to help me like put stickers down straight. Because I have a problem with putting them down crooked sometimes. Uh, and then the other great thing about this book is there's some like header type of stickers back here that you can use to label these things. All right, so I always like a good like important or to do list. This week we have just a regular like to do. So I'm just gonna grab a to do. And they're in a bunch of different colors. So this could be like a to-do list or actually maybe like this. For me, I like using these longer ones for like a grocery list. Groceries, we'll stick that in there. Okay, so you could do like a long grocery list here and then I do want to like a little to-do list, but let me find a box. I can go with that one. Let me go back to that first page. Or where I grabbed it. Where did I grab this? Oh, I have these pages too. Okay, so let's do, I think. I should get a few pages. That's really nice. Okay, let's try... One of these. I'm gonna do it up here. Let's 
and then a layer of box. Oh, another great way to use this page would be to do like a currently page on these. That would be nice too, because there are currently words on here as well. Um, then I'm just going to do this little to do here. And then let's see the words. Okay, so let's do... I like meal plan. So I've been really good about meal planning stuff recently. Actually, I think this should be meal plan. I'm actually gonna put it up above it so that way it's not taking up too much room in the box. And then this one will do to do, actually, no, I feel like, let's do this one. How about priority? Okay, so that's like the priority of the day. And then I want to use some of the like checklists. Those are always nice to use too. Okay, so we only have... Actually, I think I'm going to do the bullet points. Yeah, I like the bullet points. So here, I'm just going to add this in the middle or off to this side. Okay. And then let's just use some of these. I think I'm just going to stick to these three colors. So I'm going to use the orange color to do a little checklist here. Again, I'm using the um, bullet or the dot grid to help me put this down straight. I think it's kind of straight. Looks kind of straight. So you can go down like however long, however many you need, however long you want your list to be. I'll just go four. I think that's pretty good. And then let's see, let's add another box. I feel like purple would be good. I'm going to do this box down here. I want to layer another box on top. And okay, I'm going to get the words. All right, another one that I would use would be, um, I like, actually, how about tomorrow? Tomorrow's a good one. Like something to focus on for tomorrow or to leave for tomorrow. And then I like chores. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, so this one's gonna be tomorrow. And then this will be like the little chore list. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And then let's see about adding in, honestly, I think because like this sheet's nice because it already has the decor on it. I mean, I added a little bit here because I felt like I needed something up there, but for the most part, like it has enough decorative element on the page you don't have to like overly decorate which I actually prefer for a daily sheet because you know you'd be making if you're doing daily sheets if you do them every day that's a lot of decorating I mean it's a good way to use your stickers but uh it does take time for sure to decorate these pages I feel like I need like more orange down here though so I'm just gonna add a box because I just feel like it needs to be a little bit more balanced in the color so I'm just gonna stick actually Where did I put it here? Okay, let's 
find another word. What could that one be? Oh, there's even a, like a little top three. I like that one. So you could have done like three bullet points and use that top three. Um, let's do a don't forget. Don't forget. Let me put some space in between these. Okay. So that would be my daily sheet using that one. Now I'm going to use this one. Try to do it a little bit different if I can. We'll see. Let me see if I can find this design here. Let's see. Oh, is it this one? Yeah. Oh, this one's like a pretty like pastel-y one. Ooh, we got some nice pastel colors. Love that. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me look at the words. Now, you don't have to use these words. You can do you know, any other type of, like, you write the words and all that kind of stuff on it for yourself. But, okay, on this one, I want to do, like, a long list here with the bullet points. So, let me grab a little header first, and... We'll do, what did I do? I'm gonna do priority. Actually, I'm gonna do to-do list. To-do list, since it's a list. So same kind of concept as this one, but we're gonna just do a bullet point, which is gonna be fun to put down all the bullet points. Okay, I think this is it, yeah. All right, so I guess I can do like a rainbow kind of pattern. I love these colors right here. So I'm gonna go with, let's start off with pink. And I'm just gonna put bullet points down. Let's do this pretty orange peachy color. I love this color so much. And you can space it out a little bit more. But this is going to be like a nice long list going down the page. I'm just using these three colors because I think these are the prettiest colors together. It's giving me like spring vibes for sure. Okay, and then blue. Did I mess that up already? Oh my goodness, I totally messed that up. First orange, then blue. I totally was not paying attention. Okay, then orange, then blue. Okay, let me see if I have any more bullet points because otherwise that's where it's going to have to stop. Nope. Okay, so I used all the bullet I And I have more. I just wanted them to be this color. Oh, never mind. I have more. So there's two pages of bullet points. Very nice. I'm just going to do one more um, pattern. Going down this way. I feel like I'm getting crooked too, so that's okay. Okay, there. You kind of get the idea. Okay, so we got a nice little to-do list. And again, you can go all the way down the page with these bullet points. There's enough bullet points to do that. Um, I think on this one, I don't want to, I'm not going to do any like layering. It's just going to be more blocks, more sections, I think, just to make it a little different than that one. Uh, so... I'm gonna grab, I'm just gonna start putting boxes down. So this one, and then labeling them. So this one we'll do um, important. Okay. Uh -huh. 
I need to mark this page because I'm going to keep losing it. Um, what can I mark it with? I'm like a little ruler. Okay. And let's see, let's do this blue color is really pretty. And I think I want to add some flowers because she does give you some decorative florals in here. So I'm going to grab some of these. I think this will be good. Okay. And I just want it like on the corner. Yeah, I'll do this way. Just on the corner. And then I can put a box. Let's give that a little bit of room. And I'm just going to label that one. Let's do this one. Clean. This is the cleaning list here. Okay. And then we grab another box. Let's see. I want to do some of these like maybe you have some bills that are due like say like today you have to pay two bills so I'm just gonna use these to mark some bills I think there's a yeah there's a pay bills sticker here so we'll put that here pay bills and then grab another box all right, this one I want to do, I want a pink box. Actually, I guess blue again. Do that one here. And label that one. Ooh, there's a plan one. That's a good one. Plan. I'll just put it in the box. Okay. Nice. All right, let's do, we do like a checklist over here. One of these checklists. Oh, is there a pink one? Oh, there isn't. Never mind. Okay, let's see what other words I can use. Um. Let's say you have an appointment. I'm gonna grab one of these boxes again. Put this over here. And you can use the appointment sticker. Use the blue to write in your appointment. And then, let's do, okay, let's see what the other one is. So we got to-do list, clean, pay bills. If you have bills that day, important. Plan, of course. Always planning. Um, maybe email. Oops. Um, ooh, meal plan, of course, that's a good one. I'll probably use meal plan. Meal plan for the day. So I'm gonna grab an orange box. This one. Put this one to the side a little bit more. Meal plan. I feel like I need to move this over. Still has to look good. Even though you're only going to use it for the day, it still needs to look cute and good. <laughs> At least it does to me. Okay. We got appointment, meal plan, uh, let's do a pink box, and maybe another flower, so I like that combo. Okay, so we got a pink box, and I'll grab a flower, oops, let's see, how about one of these? Let's do this one. Let's see, I 
kind of want it on the bottom. Okay, and then that one we can do, oh, what did I say? Oh, this one's a good one. The schedule for the day. Schedule. And then... Let's say you gotta email somebody. That's a good one to put a box for. I'll grab this little tiny one. And just fill in this spot here. She kind of did a good amount of words, or she did do a good amount of words that you could possibly use for a um, for these pages. I actually want to add another floral here. I think it needs one on this side. So I think I just want this little tiny one right here. It's a good size. We'll just stick this in here. Finish off this page. Oops. Okay, perfect. So that one's nice because I kind of like the sections where they're just like, you know, just placed in kind of like columns on the page, which is nice. You can really see things a lot more clearly. I do like the layering, of course. I love the layering of the boxes. But like just two different ways that you can use these. Um, you can get a lot on these little pages. A lot of really good plans for the day if you like to um, daily plan on these sheets. And you do get 60 of them. And there was another pack of pages of filler paper that had more of a like a line floral neutral vibe. So definitely check that out. But that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to share some different ways to use these. Um, gorgeous watercolor floral sheets to make some daily pages because those are always fun to use. Um, and then of course use the watercolor florals. Really pretty book. It's got all the things, all the decorative and functional stickers that you need. So that is going to be it. Again, check out that link down in the description if you want to purchase from Kelva Plans release today, her planner fall release. Um, there's some good, there's some good stuff on there. So definitely check it out. I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next one.